By Chesapeake Bay, a powerful nation arose, the Powhatan people. The ancient prophecy, as sung by the wolf, called for three tests. The first challenge was an invasion from the north. We painted the rivers red with their blood. The second test was an invasion from across the great water. White men wearing black robes and crosses. Again, the rivers were red. Blood red. The third test. It is coming. Prepare for the third invasion. new world not new as old as the sun you're home Jeremy, home is further south Hold your weapon. after two years in London this place should be like heaven to you after two months with you on this boat any place will feel like heaven I'm not going back to London. That makes two of us. The sacred eagle. A sign of welcome. Can't wait to get my feet on dry land. Look at this. What a place. There just better be some gold there. Bring John Smith up on deck. Aye, sir. Unchain. Yes, Captain. Smith is to remain a prisoner when we land, Captain. It should be lively on the main so large. All hands on deck! Mr. Garrison, make ready port side longboat. Captain, surely you've not forgotten my family's generosity. That delinquent tried to kill me, Captain. If I really tried to kill you, you'd be giving the sharks indigestion right now. Trust me. Yes, we'll see about that then, won't we? Careful with that. Aye, Captain. And guard the way! Prophecy. The rivers will be red with their blood. After my father. Here. 
in tribute to our monarch James, first Stuart King, first King of United England and Scotland, I proclaim this to be Fort James. And may God bless us all. Amen. Amen. Now let's take a look around. Opachisco, oh, come with me. You stay here. That pistol ready, mate. Keep your eyes open. Try. Look right. I'm hot. There's some shade over there. Straighten up. I'm tipping. I see a bird. Is that... Rather bold for a heathen, isn't it? You fool. Don't you see them? See whom? We're surrounded. Where? Where? Where are they? It's the wind. Willing to wager at a time like this? I hardly think your assets would be of interest. Are you trying to get us killed? It's a thought. Compliments of King James. <laughs> Sir, I think you were right all along. It was the wind. I should have killed you back on the ship. As my poor yeoman of a father used to say, never start anything you can't finish. Who fired those shots? Sir Edwin. I should have known. Opachisco. Oh, How many tribes in this area? A few. But this is Powhatan Confederacy. Friendly? When my father was still alive, the one tribe he feared was the Powhatans. A man who makes the eagle fall from the sky has no soul. Heed the prophecy. We raise our tomahawks now. Kukum is brave, and Muchiko is an elder and most wise. But they only speak of destruction. Do you forget what happened to the Pamamke tribe to the south? Where are they now? 
Gone. Because of the white man. Because they believed a tomahawk was mightier than a thunderstick. Cousin, give my son your word, and he will lead the battle cry. My father, I speak to you of power. Yours, and the strength of the stranger's thunderstick. Let the white man share this power with us. I want them. All of them. The strangers will present their thundersticks to me as gifts. And then? And then I decide. Watch them. If they are here to fish, hunt, do not harm them. But I speak, you heed. If they are here to build, Settle. That land is sacred hunting ground. And the chief will heed the prophecy. There's a lot of anger in his heart. He's not a boy anymore. His father still thinks he's one. You must do as he says. Watch them. That's not enough. There are many ways to watch. He does not want the thunder sticks to use. He just doesn't want anyone else to use them against us. That is the thinking of a fool. What do you think of these white men? What do you think of them? Why did you ask Kakum to be your eyes? I never saw her still too young. <laughs> I'm not. And I have good eyes. I know what to do with the thunder sticks. I know. Sorry. <laughs> 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 
are you looking at? Does this look like an invasion? <laughs> Put the chair down and bring it up now. <laughs> John Smith. John Smith. John Smith. Pocahontas. Poca. Hauntus, Pocahontas. 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 Altramisk. Ah, Altramisk. You are beautiful. You're very funny. <laughs> Captain Christopher Newport, from a land far across the water, England, on a mission for His Majesty King James I to explore this world. This is our land. What do you want? Gold. <laughs> Peace. We bring gifts to Prince Cocoon. Jules, the metal chest. Yes, sir. We are honored, Your Highness. Thunderstick. No. Maybe just one. Got to shut him. He's not a chief. We gain nothing by giving him a gun. It's our only trump card. Chief? You are chief? You can give the thunderstick. No. Prince Kakum has great wisdom and strength. We bring fine gifts. I will give the thunderstick to your chief myself.
Captain, before you leave us to return for England, it's time to read the names of the governing council to clarify the chain of command here. Yeah. After all, we can't always have plebeians speaking on our behalf. <laughs> With this royal decree, dated July 15th, the year of our Lord, 1607, I, King James I, appoint to the governing council of Fort James to be established in the New World, Captain Christopher Newport, Chair. Yeah. Sir, Edwin Wingfield. Yeah. Master Peter Mitchell. Yeah. Master Jeremy Gosnold. Yeah. And Mr. John Smith. What? What? John Smith? Let me see that. Man, the commoner. We're not in England anymore, your lord. <laughs> Captain, that's treason. No. Treason is questioning the authority of his majesty. land we now share. I assured the king I would groom you for greatness. I'm grateful. Sorry about this morning. Mm. Tomorrow I'm going to go and explore the surrounding area. You think you and Wingfield can manage the morning without killing each other? The morning, you say? Mm. All right. You'd best be back by noon. Give us a song, young George. Higgledy pig, the cat does a jig. He bolted the door and cried no more. Jumped me from behind, he did, and threw me to the floor. I did what I could, but it wasn't enough. And I cried, please, sir, no more. The invaders have refused to give us thunder sticks. My father speaks the truth. But not all the truth. The strangers refused to give Cocoon the thunder sticks because they wanted to give them to Chief Powhatan. This is true. The chief ignores the prophecies. He brings danger to his people. I don't dispute a prophecy. But I don't want you frightening our children for no reason. When I see for myself, this is the third invasion. I'll know what to do. The strangers have tools, many things they can share. The Powhatan people will learn much. The white men will come bearing gifts to honor my father. He will come. I found some! I found some! Where? Bring it here! Hurry! Hurry! Show me. Well. That's not gold, you idiot! But there can't be any gold here. I did want to hear that! Now the two of you will stay in that muck until you've come up with something worth looking at. Morning, all feverish. It's been getting worse by the hour. 
I'm no doctor. If only my father were here. I hope you men know that layabouts do not collect their daily wage. You heartless snot. <laughs> Started, shall we? In honor of your human patriarch. What the hell's going on? I was acting in self defense. Really? Fever. Bad. I need remedy. Pay a visit to this chief, Paul Hartman, as a member of the governing council. We need medicine. They have it, and I can get it. One crate of guns, one of ammunition. Make it a short trip. You're doing fine, little brother. Pocahontas. John Smith. Thank you for the flowers. Tomorrow at sunrise, I'm going to go visit Chief Pohatan. I'll be bringing him a gift of thunder sticks, pistols. Where is Pohatan village? Do you know? You are here. Go around the cliffs. Follow the river. When you pass the Beaver Dam, leave your canoe on a rock. Will I see you again? Aren't I supposed to say something like that? Both made your father proud. Smith was simply so adamant that he be the one to go. It's almost as if... What? I don't know. As if it were part of some overall plan. Take me. 
Run to Newport. Prince Kakun. Let Opechisco go. He is but an innocent guide. I'm on a mission of peace. Please take me to your chief. Opechisco. From the Pamangis to the south. <laughs> Where is the gift of Thundersticks? Some place where you can't get him. Surprise. I lost a brother myself not so long ago. I know what you're going through. You're welcome to stay in my quarters for a time. Just so you don't feel quite so alone. Come, son. Trust, isn't it? That's a bullet wound. This is John Smith's doing. What? It's all part of his plan to go native, so it seems. Smith has betrayed us for gold. Damn it, Wingfield, you don't know that. What I do know is this, Captain. He insisted that he be the one to go up river. He left with an ample supply of guns. These three men are dead. And our Mr. Smith, quite conveniently, is nowhere to be found. It was an ambush. We both know that. 
Why can't you at least let him speak? Justice must not only be carried out, it must be seen to be carried out. Justice? Doesn't every brave have the right to speak? The white man lost that right when he killed two of my braves. The same white man who saved your son's life. The day he arrived on the beach, he saved Japazaw's life. Did he not stop the man who was shooting at the woods towards the rock with his thunder stick? Yes. And where were you standing? In the woods, by the rock. And where were you standing? In the woods, by the rock. A waterfall has a life of its own. And to make the water stop, takes more than just mere will. You know I cannot save him. Pocahontas, you know our customs. White lips on yours is treason. <laughs> Back, sir. Side by side, we fought against the Turks. If he's alive, he'll be back.
When a chief loses braves, his heart cries for justice. This white man must die. Because he has passed the test of endurance, we give him this honor. Prince Kokum, bravest of the brave, will cut off his head. So be it. I, Prince Kukum, present the power of the Thunderstick to the great chief, Mohan. I claim the life of this captive. His life is mine. Let Princess Pocahontas speak. I know our customs. I claim this captive. Princess Pocahontas speaks the truth. This white man now belongs to my daughter, Princess Pocahontas. This white man is now the son of the great, all-powerful Powhatan. This white man is now called Nantaquit. My cousin is great and wise. He respects the customs. If Princess Pocahontas wants to claim the life of this captive, remember this. Should he harm anyone in this confederacy, both Nantakut and Pocahontas must die by fire. I also know the customs. his family in battle. Family? <coughs> Cousin. I'm so sorry. When a woman loses family in battle, oh. she can adopt a captive from another tribe to take his place. I see. So now we're cousins. In every respect. Not in all respects.
Francis. Why didn't you tell me? No need to. Everyone knows. I know. When you're stronger. We're part of my people now. Nanticoat. Nanticoat. What does that mean? Why, Chico? This is a healing place, sacred. For generations, my people have come here for renewal. This mud, drought impurities. No one saw you. He'll have it back before he knows it's gone. Well, Chico was screaming all day long yesterday. Furious when he found out you brought the white man here. Would you believe me if I told you that I knew what I was doing? Good, because I'm not sure that I do. <laughs> so, Machiko was screaming all day. That's nothing new. And what was my father's response? That he belongs to me. 
He will never belong to you. His heart is with his people. My people do need me. And what do you need? To send a message to the fort. Artemisk! Tell Japazaw to come. You're not a prisoner. Yes, I am. <clears throat> You're not well enough to leave. No, I'm not. Do you want to? <laughs> no. My dear Captain Newport, we were ambushed. Al Patrisco and the others were killed. I was taken prisoner, set to be executed, when my life was spared by an Indian princess, Pocahontas. I am one of them now. They call me Nantaquud. Don't come and get me. Too dangerous. I will return as soon as I've recuperated. Until then, I hope to gain further their confidence. I'm having delivered a pouch of medicine, which will help George tend to those men with fever. Yours sincerely, John Smith. Teach me how to use this. What is all this? Who's this child? This little renegade was sent here by none other than John Smith, who, surprise, surprise, is not dead. He's taken up with the heathens, just as I'd suspected. He's even given himself an Indian name. What is it again? Mandacoot? And he sent this little devil to purloin additional firearms. Oh, Where's the medicine? That's right. He didn't bring any medicine, did he? I say, we punish the traitor and kill the little messenger boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Are you insane? Quite. There are a hell of a lot more of them than there are of us. Use your brains. Come here, boy. Go. Go back to John Smith. Nantakud. Whatever! He is a traitor to his majesty and to me. Men are dying here. You tell him that. If he doesn't come back of his own free will, I'll come after him. Off yeah. you go. <laughs> back to work, mule. Ah, it's used.
dear Captain Yuko. Cleansing the spirit. Tell me about your London. Mm, London. Too many people. Not enough space. Rains all the time. Damp, gray. Rather depressing, actually. Is that why white men wear so many clothes and dress so funny? We do, don't we? Custom, I guess. Any other customs? This one. Would my princess like to dance? Step in. Step out. Step, step in. in. Step out. Turn. Now spin. I'm going to the fort with you. No. Stay. You must have you stay at your village to make sure no one turns your father against us. Please. We have to be strong for each other. John Smith will go to the fort. Magic crew will return. My father spoke to me, a warning. A chief who does not believe. I believe in the truth. I speak the truth, so do I. They didn't make you chief because they didn't think you were strong enough. That is the truth, accept it. Stop hiding behind your son. And you? You hide behind your daughter. Achiko, stop this jealousy. It's eaten away at you. The invaders in the prophecy will begin by conquering our women and by turning them against us. How can I know you really had this dream? Would you deny me the spirit of my father? Your daughter is your weakness. She will lead us to destruction. I will consider your dream. to pour 
isn't it? The dreams of elders must be considered. I know how difficult it must be to find it in your heart to forgive John Smith. We should go to that den of savages, get the medicine, and shoot the traitor. It might be deemed a tad provocative, my boy. If John Smith ever shows his face here again, I'll kill him with my bare hands. No, no, no. Shh. We need to talk about this. Pocahontas is much like her father. A true leader and a healer. Kakum has much anger in his soul. A brave needs anger. A brave does not have to hide behind a woman. A man does not need anger when he can share in the wisdom of a woman. Chief Powhatan, you are wise and powerful. You've let me live. You know I'm not the invader of the prophecy. I come in peace. When I first came here, I came with gifts from the King of England to you and to ask for medicine. At the fort, there are white men, ill and dying. That is why I must ask you to let me go back, Father. Will you help me? If we do. At the fort, there's a large and powerful thunder stick, a cannon, more powerful than you can imagine. You promised them a cannon? A cannon, but no cannonballs. <laughs> Who must be running to the fort? <laughs> promises to you are as empty as his promises to us. We both want John Smith dead. I can arrange that. I can also arrange for you to get thunder sticks that you can carry, like this. Pistol. Many of them. Captain, I'm waiting. I'm here. Call me a traitor to my face. I bring food, gifts, and medicine, as promised. Promises? Fire! You bloody murderer! Bloody murderer! John Smith, you're under arrest. For what, Captain? For treason. And for the murders of Daniel Jones, Matthew Garrison, and Jeremy Gosnold. Those men were your responsibility died while under your charge. Christopher, let me explain. God, have mercy on you. Take him away. Traitor! Traitor!
You might have said something. My captain has decided to make amends with your chief. This is not a good thing. It is better if you do, or something like that. If I help, you'll make all the white men leave. Well, let's just worry about one white man at a time, shall we? John Smith. Is that gold? What do you want? The gold. I just wanted you to know, Smith, that I really don't hate you. Is this your idea of last rites? I find that when I look into your face, what I feel is more akin to revulsion. Why do I hear the echo of your father's voice in that? That's why you're here, isn't it? Banished, weren't you? What did you do, Wingfield? What on earth did you do? father will have his brave. too long. People notice such things. Did you get the cannon? I didn't. He tricked us again. Dr. Kurt has been put in jail by his own people. And that man, Wingfield, will give us many thundersticks if we take care of Pocahontas. Dignity. That hand remains another second on my daughter. I'll cut it off. The white man's promises are empty. His own people say so. He played a trick on us. Kukum speaks the truth. Kukum's truth is not always the same as yours or mine. Can't you see? My father's dream was clear. One day, stop humiliating him. My father used to say to me, you reap what you sow. I believe that.
Captain Newport, someone's coming. I am Princess Pocahontas of the Powhatan Confederacy. Captain Christopher... Newport. I want you to release John Smith immediately. I beg your pardon. I want you to release Prince Nantakud. Your Highness, I'm indeed sorry, but... I abide by English law. My father, Chief Powhatan, calls him his son. It would be in your best interest to let him go. Are you threatening me? I'm telling you. And I'm telling you he's a traitor. Traitor? Because he spoke from his heart? And was to torture for all of you? He risked his life. He's not a traitor. He sent medicine. Explaining everything in his letter. What letter? The one Sir Edwin's kept hidden from us all. doing? Nantikul should have the face of a poor heart and brave. May I come in? Please do. Excuse me, Your Highness. John, I'm sorry. I feel I've betrayed myself more than you. Can you forgive me? Before I leave, I have to know. Did you promise them the cannon? Sort of. But no cannonballs. I was in a bind. Yes. Well, I presume you still are. I come today to honor you with these gifts. On behalf of His Majesty, the King of England. Dr. Good. The other is ammunition. Would you like me to... No. It's not necessary. What my father means to say is that he's hungry. 
You've prepared a feast. Come. I wish my men at the fort could have eaten so well today. You're good. Yes, I am. My captain is offering you a crown of jewels to proclaim you emperor. Am I not already a king? You're not very good. Nanticoot would like to invite you, my father, to the fort for this tribute, a coronation. What's wrong? After your father's coronation, we will be together. They cannot stop us. Given the chief good pistol. Yes, you now possess the white man's power. Make it thunder. Show us its magic. Switch the boxes. How many more insults will my cousin accept? This is a conspiracy! It is! They take you for a fool! This invitation to the fort is also a lie. They want to get you behind their walls so they can take you hostage, send you to their king as a slave. Kukum knows this to be true. The ship leaves for England the next day. The white man Wingfield told me that... When? The other night? Is that where you were? Spying on your own people now? Silence! Everyone! You, and you, come. These things are poison. Look at what they're doing to us. Don't believe what they say about Nanticoot. They want war. I know what they want. I'm an old man. How long can I remain chief? I see the future. It is near. Chief Jabberson. And you? The strength behind his throne. Well, Chief goes right. You are my weakness. But I don't want to lose you. Chief cannot lose face, and I'm not blind. He's not one of us. You called him Nanticoot? This, this new world is not ours anymore. I fear for the future of this confederacy. I will help ensure peace. I will. That is my dream. I agree with the coronation. If they see me as one of theirs, then hopefully no harm will come to us. I will tell them. And they will have to crown me here. Tell them.
through the pass. What can I say to get you to reconsider? Nothing. I want to live with the Bohatans. Fast, my pretty girl. If it isn't my little prince. <clears throat> now, princess, once my friend here eliminates John Smith, I take over. And we move our little settlement out of your father's way, over the hill, where the streams are brimming with gold. Consider yourself. Go leave her! My father will hunt you down! I'm not afraid of the chief. It's you I'm worried about. You won't be long. Hello, Mr. Smith. As usual, you're right, John. Dead right.
Send word out. Prepare for war. Kill both of them, right? Don't do this. If they find out that a nobleman was killed by an Indian, it'll never end. I have to turn myself in anymore. You can run away. Can we? You can't live without you. Yes, you can. That's the price for peace. Oh. oh, God. I'll always be with you. No matter where. No matter what. You said you could ensure peace. Instead, you've brought me war. On the one side, it's a brave and it's truth. On the other, you and yours. I'm not afraid of the truth. Put us to the truth test. John Smith must die. You can't execute the man whose life I've saved and who in turn has saved mine. I can or cannot do. You cannot kill him. Take my life. Anything. Just let him live. That's all I ask.
I know, Sir Edwin died of the fever like the others. We lost a number of good men at Fort James. Some from the fever, some from the Indians. Like John Smith. Who will live among them now as Nantuk would. Our link to this new world and its people. I'm here as princess of the Powhatan nation and Prince Jafazar, our future chief. Our father is prepared to offer his hand in peace. At a price. When your ship departs for England, John Smith must be on board. Princess. I must. For the sake of my people, you are now to quit no more. It's a price for peace. I'll always be with you, no matter what, no matter where.